हेलो स्टूडेंट अर्लियर वी हैव डिस्कस द लेसन नंबर वन ऑफ क्लास सेवेंथ दैट इज न्यूट्रिशन इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म प्लांट वी हैव डिस्कस द टर्म न्यूट्रिशन मोड्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट दैट इज ऑफ टू टाइप ऑटोटॉपिक एंड हिटोटॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस द ऑटोटॉपिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन डिटेल्ड एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द हिटोटॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन Hitotopic nutrition is the mode of nutrition in which organism cannot prepare their own food and depend upon other plants and animals. Such organisms are called heterotrophs. The word hetero means other and trophs mean nourishment. Although most plants are autotrophs, but there are some plants that get their food from other plants and animals some completely non green plants non green plants means that do not have chlorophyll depends on the other plants and animals for their food and are called heterotrophic plants heterotrophic plants can be categorized into four different parts as given in this flow chart parasitic plants saprophytic plants insectivorous plants and symbiotic plants we will discuss different types of heterotrophic plant uh, plants one by one first of all we will discuss the parasitic plants some plants like cascata which is also known as a dodder or amarbale is a non green plant so it do not have chlorophyll and it cannot make its own food by the process of photosynthesis its long yellowish thread like stem attached to the host plant and wrap around the stem and absorb ready made food from it it has a special structure to absorb the nutrients from the host plant that is called the hostoria which persists into plant's body on which it climb for absorption of ready made food the mode of nutrition in which some plants live in or on the body of other living organism and derive their ready made food from them is called parasitic nutrition and such organisms are called the parasites and the organism from whose the body of the food is obtained is called the host parasites may be total or partial means they may completely dependent on the host plant for their nutrients or they may be dependent partially for example cascata is an example of a total parasite a few fungi and bacteria are also total parasites some plants like mistletoe are partial parasites in a parasitic relationship only the parasitic plants benefited but it usually does not kill the host plant host plant is a plant from which the parasite obtain the nutrition hence continues to live off it after discussing parasitic plant we will discuss the saprophytic plant sapro means decaying matter and phytos mean plants some non green plants obtain their nutrition from dead and decaying organic matter of plants and animals such plants are usually white in color means again they don't have chlorophyll and they have no leaves at all this mode of nutrition is called the saprophytic mode of nutrition and the organism that obtain their food in such a way are called saprophytes for example mushrooms molds and yeast saprophytes lack chlorophyll and thus they cannot prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis like green plants they secrete digestive juices they secrete digestive juices on the dead and decaying matter and convert it into a liquid that is used as a nutrient by the non green plants fungi were earlier considered to be plants but due to the presence of some characteristics different from plants they are no longer considered as plants they form an entirely different category of an organism and are considered as a separate kingdom that is kingdom fungi hot and humid weather favors the growth of the fungi as you know that 
Fungi can be seen during the rainy season, and sometimes the objects like old shoes in warm and humid uh, humid uh, weather generally uh, get white patches. These white patches are fungi, and you must have seen mushroom in the market, and sometimes you may have eaten them. Mushroom is an edible fungi, but remember all the mushrooms are not edible. Some are very poisonous. The third type of the heterotrophic plants are insectivorous plants. A few plant feeds on insect for fulfilling their nitrogen requirements. Such insects eating plants are called insectivorous plants. As you know about insectivorous plants in your previous classes, they generally grow in the nitrogen deficient soil. So to fulfill the def uh, deficiency uh, requirement of the nitrogen they trap the insects and fulfill their requirement of nitrogen and such type of plants are called the insectivorous plants pitcher plant articularia venus fly trap drosera sundew are insectivorous plant in sundew plants the leaves have tentacles Tentacles means finger-like projections with the droplets of sticky substance at the ends. Insect that sits on the leaves get stuck to the substance and get entangled, the trap, and then consumed by the plants. And in pitcher plant, the leaves are modified in a pitcher shapes, which is lined with downward pointing hairs. that do not allow the trapped insect to escape when an insect is trapped in the pitcher and it is then digested by the digestive juices present in the pitcher plant in venus fly trap the leaves are modified into trap the inner surface of the leaves have short stiff hairs when insect come in contact with these hairs the two lobes of leaves get enclosed and insect get trapped inside it which is digested with the help of digestive juices present in it the fourth type of heterotrophic nutrition uh, plant is symbiotic plants the plants which live in association with other plants and share shelter and nutrient thereby mutually benefiting from each other mutually means both the organism get benefited from each other are called the symbiotic plants such mode of nutrition is called the symbiosis such example some examples of symbiosis are lichens they are the combination of fungus and green algae which lives in close association with each other the fungus do not have chlorophyll so it do not perform photosynthesis where the algae have chlorophyll and it can perform photosynthesis means it can prepare its own food and the algae get shelter from the fungus similarly rhizobium bacteria lives in the nodules of the roots of leguminous plants like pea gram pulses and provide them nitrogen into a soluble form for the plant and the pea plant provide nutrients and shelter to rhizobium for its growth Some fungi live in roots of trees. The tree provide nutrients to the fungi, and the fungi provide certain nutrients from soil to the trees, so that both the organisms get mutually benefited each other. The last topic of this chapter is the planting nutrient in the soil. We have seen uh, farmers and gardeners adding manures and fertilizer, adding manures and fertilizers to the soil before sowing the seeds we have already learned in this chapter that plant absorb nutrients from soil and thus makes the soil deficient in nutrient different plants require different nutrients to grow some plants take up nitrogen while some require potassium phosphorus etc once these nutrients are used up it takes a long time to replenish them naturally in the present time we need more yield of crop to fulfill our need as you know because of increase in population so it become necessary to replenish the soil artificially by adding manure and
फर्टिलाइजर्स दीज कंटेन नाइट्रोजन पोटेशियम नाइट्रोजन पोटेशियम एंड फॉस्फोरस विच फॉस्फोरस विच प्लांट्स रिक्वायर टू ग्रो वेल अ नेचुरल वे टू रिप्लानिश द सॉइल विद नाइट्रोजन इज थ्रो द सिम्बायोटिक एसोसिएशन सिम्बायोटिक एसोसिएशन ऑफ राइजोबियम एंड लेग्यूमिनस प्लांट ऑफ राइजोबियम एंड लेग्यूमिनस प्लांट्स it is for this reason that farmers grow leguminous plant alternatively with other crops in our next video we will discuss the question answer of this chapter so stay tuned with us